Hi, I decided to make another factoring video. Um, in the one that I made before, we used the box method to factor quadratic equations. Um, that's the way I did it this year. This is the way I've always done it in the past. Well, in the past, this is the way I've done it since I started teaching. When I did these in high school and college myself, I used a guess and check method. Um, I would recommend this method um, over a guess and check because it just makes sense. Um, so the instructions are here at the top and I'm going to walk through how to do them. The first step is to look and see if there is a GCF, a greatest common factor. That means that all the terms could be divided by the same number. That is not true for this. These two you could divide by two, but you can't divide three by two. And so there is no GCF. The next step is to multiply A times C, so the first term times the last term. This is similar to in the box method. 3 times 8 is 24. And we're going to find, it's a t-chart also, I just use it kind of differently. We're going to find the factors of 24 that add up to 10. All right, so the factors of 24, 1 and 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, um, and actually also we have negative 1 and negative 24, and all the negative, oops, that should be 12, versions as well. I was not going to put those because I know that this is positive, and so it could not be any of those choices. But I'll put them there to kind of show you how it works. Now we want to see which one adds up to 10. Well, 1 plus 24 is 25. 2 plus 12 is 14. 3 plus 8 is 11. 4 plus 6 is 10. Hey, that's the one. All right. So here's where it gets a little bit weird. You're going to actually keep the first term, 3r squared, and the last term, plus 8. But that middle section, we're actually going to replace with these two numbers. So plus 4r plus 6r. You can see that these are equivalent. 10r is the same as 4r plus 6r. And so we didn't actually change the value of this equation in any way. All we did was change the format. All right. Now we're going to factor by grouping. I'm going to show you how to do that on here. Um, I did not make a separate video for that, but hopefully this will be a good explanation. So you're going to make two groups, the first two terms and the last two terms. And you're just going to look at them individually. So these two, what is the GCF? The GCF of 3r squared and 4r is just r, because you can divide both terms by r. r times 3r is 3r squared. r times 4 is 4r. OK? Now we're going to do the same thing for this set, 6r plus 8 the GCF is positive 2. Both terms are divisible by 2. 2 times 3R is 6R, and 2 times 4 is 8. All right. Now, you can see that there's a match right here and right here. The part in the parentheses is identical. Because that's identical, we're going to write it out front. Basically, we're factoring this out as a GCF. But sometimes that's hard for people to understand, so I just say, if it matches, take it out. It goes in front. And then we have some leftovers, r and 2. So that's going to go in the second set. And that's it. It's completely factored. Okay? So again, this is a different way to do it. You could use the box method or this method. Or guess and check, really. All right, I'm going to do two more quick examples just to hopefully help this be a little more solid. Um, and you can choose whichever method you like the best. So, step one, is there a GCF? Can all three of these terms be divided by something? Well, these two terms could easily be divided by 10, but not this one. This one we could divide by 5. Could we divide this by 5? Yes. And this? Yes. So the GCF is 5. Then we're going to fill in the inside. 5 times 3r squared is 15r. 5 times negative 10r is negative 50r, and 5 times 8 is 40. All right? 
I just like to check and look through, make sure I got the right GCF. Yes, I did. And so we're going to take this five down to the bottom and set up our answer. That way we don't forget that we had a five in front. Okay, now we're going to go through the steps. We're going to multiply A times C. Three, whoa, look, this is almost the same. Um, this will be interesting actually to show you the difference. So the factor or three times eight is 24. And the factors of 24, again, I'm going to write them even though you wouldn't really need to. 4 times 6, negative 1 times negative 24. My dogs are crazy. Okay, so those are all of the factors of positive 24. But this time, we need them to add up to negative 10. That means none of those are going to work because those at the top are going to all be positive answers, as you can see here. But at the bottom, negative 1 and negative 24 is negative 25. Negative 2 and negative 12 is negative 14. Negative 3 and negative 8, negative 11. Negative 4 and negative 6 is negative 10. We needed negative 10, so these are our factors. We are going to replace negative 10 with negative 4r minus 6r. And the rest of the problem remains the same. All right, I'm not actually going to write the parentheses with the 5 in front because we've accounted for that down here. So I'm just going to continue factoring by grouping. So we have two groups. We have the first group and we have the second group. All right, we need to look at the first group, just these two, and pick out the GCF. It's R. So we're left with 3R minus 4. Okay, the second one this time, because this first number is negative, is going to be a negative that we're pulling out. It's going to be negative 2 for our GCF, so that's going to leave us with positive 3R minus 4. This is negative because negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. All right, again, now you can see that we have a match. Those match. So we're going to write those out in front. 3R minus 4 and the leftovers, R minus 2. Okay, and that's really what goes into these. It's the same, just with that five in front. Okay, and last one. 6x cubed minus 10x squared minus 24x. Actually, this doesn't even look like it's in the right form, correct? But remember, the first step is to check and see if there's a GCF. And in this case, the GCF is 2x. So we're going to take 2x out in the beginning. All right, so each term has an x, and they're all divisible by 2. So 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 2x times negative 5x is negative 10x squared. And 2x times negative 12 is negative 24x. So again, I'm going to just kind of check through, and it looks good to me. I'm going to take that 2x down to the bottom and set up my answer. All right, and now we're only focused on the inside. Multiply A times C. 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. We need the factors of negative 36 that add up to negative 5. So 1 and 36, 2, I'm going to do negative 1 and 36, negative 2 and 18, negative 3 and 12, negative 4 and 9, not 5, negative 6 and 6. All right, and then also we want to do these same things but with the negative on the other side. So 1 and negative 36 also equals negative 36. 2 and negative 18, 3 and negative 12, 4 and negative 9, and the 6 and negative 6 are fine. We want to look through these and find the pair that adds up to negative 5. So if I'm looking through, I would say negative 1 plus 36 is 35. Nope. Here, I'll cross them out as we go. Negative 2 plus 18 is positive 16. Nope. 
negative 3 plus 12 is positive 9. Nope. Negative 4 plus 9 is positive 5. And you should be like, oh, but then check it and you see it's negative. So this won't work, but that should help you jump down to that one because 4 plus negative 9 is negative 5. So we are going to replace this term, 5x, with 4x minus 9x. Positive 4x minus 9x. And we're going to write the rest of this equation around it. 3x squared minus 12. Remember, I already accounted for my 2x here at the bottom. Now we will factor by grouping. So we have group number 1 and group number 2. All right. In group number 1, we need to take out the GCF. The GCF of these two terms is x. So we're left with 3x plus 4. The GCF of these two terms will be negative because the first one is negative. And then we need to see what can we divide both of those by. We can divide them both by 3, and so the GCF is 3, and we're left with 3x plus 4 because negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. You can see again, we have a match right there. And so that match is going to go in the first set of parentheses. The leftovers, x minus 3, goes in the second set of parentheses. And now you have a fully factored quadratic expression. All right, if you like this way better, great. If not, feel free to use the box method. It really does not matter. Have a good day.